Hi friends, welcome to Aishas DIY. Today we are going to see an earring project. First I wanted to do this necklace that I made. I thought I will do it with a multicolor um, freshwater pearl. This is freshwater pearls but they are obviously dyed for the pink color. Um, and then I finished this necklace and I wanted to do a matching earrings with it. And then I started doing her earrings and I really like them. So I thought I'll do the earring first today and then I'll do the necklace for tomorrow's project again. And this is going to be the necklace if you want to have a look at it. And then, and this is the earrings. I really like it. It's pretty, it is pretty simple and pretty neat. I mean, it's geometrical earrings, you can call it, you can call them geometrical earrings or you can call them loopy loopy earrings. Whatever you want to call them, you can call them. But this is um, a memory wire earrings. Normally, when you buy memory wire, you buy, like, I really like to buy a lot. Probably 200 to 300 loops because it goes cheaper by the loops. Uh, if you buy a small one, it costs around the same. So I would like to um, um, buy bulk, obviously. So this is how much I'm left with. And you cannot make a lot of... Uh, memory wire yes you can but uh, mm, you can means there is not much to it right so i wanted to try and use it in different ways so that we can utilize the entire uh, bunch if you want you can make and i made this necklace uh, and earrings with memory wire let me show you guys how i did this for this earring project we need ear wire let me get a french ear wire yeah, um, this is just a French ear wire, this just the regular ones, and then th uh, three head pins for each uh, earring. So I have here some ball head pins and some freshwater pearls in pink colors. You can use any kind of beads you want. All you need is three beads per earring. That's about it. And uh, some memory wire. That's all. So for the memory wire, what I'm going to do is, um, see here, I have three sections of memory wire that I have cut and then kept it as a sample. I will cut uh, with you guys too right now. So this is how much I was cutting it. As you can see, it's not a lot of difference. Um, you can measure the memory wire just like that. So the first uh, memory wire is two point, uh, probably you can go up to 2.25 inches. And then the next one will be, uh, say, 2 inches. And then the final one will be 1.6 uh, inches. So that's how much I did with it. So I'm going to do the same thing. But you can, means I'm just measuring the U just like that. Okay. So this one is 2.2. But you can start with 2.5 is what I'm saying. Um, because that's um, more of a concrete one so um, so in the earrings will also come long depending upon the size that you choose so you need to cut three pieces of memory wire let me find the end of my memory wire so for cutting the memory wire you need memory wire cutters you cannot use your regular cutters it will damage the regular cutters so i have here the memory wire cutters and this one i bought it like 13 years back or so still works fine you just have to buy one that's it and then i'm just cutting the same length as my other one so now the second length so you just need to cut three pieces of memory wire which is about like two, 2.5, 2 and 1.75 inches to be, um, you know, more specific about the measurement. If you want to do randomly, you can do one, um, but cut two lengths of the same thing so that your earrings will look symmetrical. I mean, same size, right? It's so fun. It's so easy. It you can make multiple of this in one go and then 
you can gift it to people you can use it for yourself so we need three three pieces I'm just going to keep this as a sample um, when I'm making the multicolor pearl uh, necklace I will make a um, it is sticking to my watch <laughs> okay then what you need is round nose pliers I like to use the round nose pliers um, you can use any round nose pliers you want this one is a flimsy one for me and this one is a little bit sturdy i like to use the sturdy ones with the memory wire cutters means memory wire because it's a little bit tough to make the loop so all you need to do is take the big one take one end of the loop so i am not going to do the loop outside i'm going to do the loop inside so what i'm going to do is take my pliers keep it about here again push this memory wire against your index finger and then start making the loop see how it's twisting twisting the pliers that's why i want a sturdy plier for this uh, with the regular while you can use any pliers doesn't matter and then just slowly slowly do the loop and make sure it's completely close like that um so make small loop big loop you can make it for bracelets but for this particular earrings it won't look very good if the loop is big is what my opinion is um, so try to make a smaller loop and try to make it slow just take your time and brush this against your finger that way you will get a nice loop there we go we have our loop on both ends both are curving on the inside and not the outside and then the next one the next big um, wire that we cut and then again the same thing just make loops and the loop has to curve inside there we go just make sure the loop is closed it's important to make the loop closed okay and then do the same the other side of the wire make a loop there we go so the second one is done and the shortest wire that we cut so you can do this multiple also uh, probably I will make multiple for the multicolor uh, pearl earrings and I'll show you guys so you can make two two sets of the same length that will give you a nice earring too uh, I'll show you um, once I'm done with that too So once you make it you can go ahead and take your bent nose plier or so and just squish this a little bit so that it closes completely right so you can do that with bent nose pliers you have much more stability than these ones uh, the regular flat nose pliers I really like the bent nose pliers a lot and I use them a lot the only thing is you have to constantly change pliers in your hands but if it makes your life easy why not right make sure all the loops are closed okay now what I do is I take my ear wire i know i haven't attached the bead to it i'll get to it um uh, in a moment now open up your ear wire i like to open up your my ear wire by keeping it upside down and by opening it like how you will open a jump ring so find 
the part which has a little bit open loop that way it will be easy for you so here so my earring is like this okay the opening is towards the right side okay and I'm taking this wire and putting it inside one and this one um, went in this direction right the loop is going on the towards the right and then the next big one I'll do in the opposite direction the first one is this direction the next one will be this direction okay and the third one and the final one will be in this direction I know what I mean by that so you get this cool effect if you do all on the same side which I will show you guys how it will look in the same direction just like that one two and three it'll be like this so you can see how the earrings will come you can also have it like this if you like the look of it but i like the look of that so i want to interchange the way the loops go into the ear wire so the first will be the short one and do the side which is an open okay so the first is a short one which goes like this the second one will go like this and then the third one will go like this okay now you close your ear wire shut making sure it's completely closed and then I mean just you can also put this in a jump ring okay if you want to um, there we go this is how your earrings will look right now we will add the uh, beads so I have loaded my beads onto a ball head pin and at first I did a simple loop but this one is pretty thin but it is brittle also for some reason don't remember where I got this um, um, thing from so uh, the set pins from so I am just rolling it just like that until I reach the bead so you have this effect then what I do is I tried simple loop it uh, it, uh, it wasn't um, cutting it for me with the ball head pin so see how this loop is open so it's easy for you to attach this um, bead to this loop because it's a double strand one you can actually open it up how you will open a jump ring but i don't want to distort the shape at all but if you want to open you can just lightly open it like this and add your beads and then close your loop making sure the loop is closed completely with your bent nose pliers just put it on the bent area and just push it a little bit there we go so the first one is attached just you need to just make sure these all come in line so it will eventually if you just rub it up so the same thing for the next i'm not you can bend this wire if you want at 90 degrees but you don't have to all you need to do is just roll it start your loop just like that okay and then go ahead and continue it by doing a spiral until you reach the beat do the same for the third one too take it and then spiral it now open up the loop 
on your memory wire that you created the bottom loop just a bit add your bead and then close it then take your bent nose pliers make sure this loop is closed and we don't want the bead to go off right so make sure it is the loop is closed all the way and then one more There we go. And then I am closing the loop with my bent nose pliers. Okay. There we go. So now everything is done. Actually, your earrings are done. And all you need to do is just, yep. Look at that. Very pretty, right? I really like this earrings a lot. Uh, means it's so simple but at the same time it just moves around and gives you the effect of a geometrical shape of earrings it's really really pretty and convenient and very easy to make i would say just you need to cut it make a loop and that's all you have to do i hope you guys like this video if you do give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit the bell icon for notification i do upload videos it comes around 5 pm pacific standard time every day i would uh, i i will try my level best to do it every single day but very rarely i do miss too uh, sorry about that thanks so much for watching have a good day bye